This is a tutorial on how to create an engineering drawing using Pro Engineer. Since creating a drawing isn't a step-by-step -step procedure, what I'm going to be showing you here is all the different techniques that help you create an engineering drawing, such as inserting a general view, inserting a projection view, adding dimension, removing dimension, moving, erasing, and deleting dimension. To download the template, click on the drawing template link. Click on download. Click save. Select the folder to place the file in. Then close. Click on the base port link to download the base port. Click download. Save. Place in the same folder. Click save again. Close. Open Pro Engineer. Click on Open Folder, find the L bracket port, and open. Click New. Check the radio button next to Drawing. Uncheck Use Default Template. Type in the file name, which is T12, your last name. Then OK. The first browse button allows you to load a part file to base your drawing on. The second browse button allows you to load a template. Click OK. Click inside table to adjust text to match your information. Click on Insert General View icon. Select a center point by clicking on the screen. Adjust View. Click Apply, then OK. To insert a projection view, right mouse click on the view, then select Insert Projection View. Then click on the screen where you want to place it. Repeat. To move a view within a drawing, make sure the lock view icon is unchecked. Now notice here, when it's locked, if you try to drag it, it won't move. Once you unlock it, you can move the view around by dragging it. Just select view, hold on the left mouse button, and drag to new location. Next, we will be inserting a general view. Click on the Insert View icon. Select Standard Orientation. Click on Scale. Check the Custom Scale radio button. Then change the scale to 0.30. Now this view is totally independent from the first three projections that we created because it's a general view, not a projection view. There are two methods to add dimension. Show and Erase adds multiple dimensions all at once. Under Type, click on Dimension, Axis, Show All, Yes to accept that option. Click on one view, and this should automatically add all the dimensions. Now, for the most part, we won't be needing all the dimensions, so we will be deleting a few. Now, when you click on Set to Keep, select only those that you like to keep, and the software will automatically erase all the other ones. Click OK, then close to conclude. 
notice how the software only kept the dimensions that we had selected now to move a dimension select it hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the new location to add individual dimensions click on the dimension icon select the two edges left mouse click and then metal mouse button click to the location to dimension from a center of a circle click on center then click on the circle edge and metal mouse button repeat now from this point and on everything we do is pretty much cosmetic To show the centers of a circle, go back to show an erase, click on axis, show all, and click on a view. Accept all, then close. Now if you look back, you'll see that all the center lines were added to the circles where the axis would be. Now click on a dimension, then property, click on dimension text to add a note. Now click right before the, the diameter symbol and add two times. This would tell you or would tell the viewer that both circles have the same diameter. Select a dimension, right mouse click, select flip arrows. This would change the display of the arrows from inner to outer or from outer to inner. Another feature that I would like to show you is called move to view. And sometimes a dimension is clearer in one view not the other so to move a dimension an existing dimension from one view to the other you would have to uh, select that dimension right mouse click and then select move to view to delete a dimension select that dimension right mouse button click and select either erase or delete now at this point just look at the requirements and try to match your drawing to uh, to the example drawing that I had given you. Just make sure that every feature could be recreated based on your drawing, which means you should have complete information.